What's up everybody? This is Toy Addict 26 and I'm back again with another review for you guys. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new quarter scale Elder Predator from the Predator 2 film. This is an awesome piece and I've been dying to get my hands on it ever since NECA announced it right after Toy Fair. When I saw the prototype at Comic Con earlier this year, my mind was blown as the Elder Predator is my favorite Predator from all the films so far. He's just so badass. There's so much details in his costume and his gear. And I love that he has so many, um, you know, spikes coming out of his head. You know, sh this shows the age. This has always been my favorite Predator. So I'm really, really, really excited to add this to my collection. Um, let's do a real quick breakdown of the packaging. Just like all the quarter scale Predators, he comes in an oversized uh, color box. The color box has an oversized image that is split in two. It's printed on the corner of the box, which I love that design concept, which shows the Elder Predator, very detailed, nice up close. You see a lot of the details of the sculpt and the gear on the Elder, along with the Predator 2 logo. And of course, you can see the awesome figure inside, thanks to the window box, which showcases the product inside very well. On this side, you've got the other part of the Predator's face, and in the back, you have a nice oversized image of the Elder Predator along with a night cityscape in the background which blends really nice and ties into the Predator 2 overall theme. The bottom of the box has a mini bio of the character as well as a product gallery showcasing all the 6 inch Predator figures that have been released so far by NECA including the amazing Dutch figures and all the other Predator variants. On this other side you have another quarter skill Predator that is showcased because he is included in this assortment with the Elder, and it's none other than Big Red, the Big Red quarter scale figure from the Dead End fan film, which is super awesome. Um, I own this figure in 6 inch scale, and we'll probably be picking him up in quarter scale as well. But I gotta say, the Elder Predator has always been my favorite of the Predators from all the films. It's just he looks so cool, you know, his, his design, his gear, you know, the Buccaneer pistol that he carries, he just exudes awesomeness. But enough of my blubbing around, I just wanted to, you know, give you a quick look at the packaging. Let's tear this puppy up and see this awesome figure outside of the package. All right, so after literally, I kid you not, about 30 minutes of getting all these twist ties cut off, because I mean, this thing is really secure in the box. I mean, there's twist ties everywhere for the arms, all the accessories. So I spared you guys the anguish of watching that process. Now this guy is finally out of the package and fully assembled and he is so freaking amazing. He is just incredible. Most detailed, most intricate quarter scale NECA Predator to date. I love the original Jungle Predator, but this thing takes the cake. It's so freaking detailed. I mean, look at this thing. They even used some like faux um, leather straps that are wrapped around the arm gauntlets and the elbows here. So this is not just 100% plastic sculpted pieces. There's actually some um, soft goods accessories, you know, put in there in the mix to make this thing look as screen accurate as possible. Again, like I always mention, NECA goes above and beyond um, research, like all the details when they're gonna produce something to make it look as movie and screen accurate as possible. That's one of the things, one of the reasons why NECA kicks so much ass and they're pretty much out there one of the best pop culture collectible companies. I mean, this thing, honestly, it rivals the Elder Predator from Hot Toys by leaps and bounds. It's so amazing. It's so freaking detailed. Even the, you know, all the different uh, jewelry and, and uh, you know, all these rings that are individually looped inside. The dreads on the Elder, incredibly detailed. It's got the mounted shoulder cannon. It's slightly different color. It's like an off gray. It has a little bit of gun metal, gun metal mixed in there. Some scrapes and scratches here and there but overall this thing is just impeccable it's so freaking badass and he brings tons of stuff he has 
you know, the shoulder mounted blaster cannon, he has, of course, the retractable blades that can be pushed in and out on the arm gauntlet here. He's also got the Buccaneer pistol, which is freaking amazing, and you can easily stare, store it right there in the belt. He's got this badass sword that can be placed inside the sheath. Really nice, very detailed sword. And he's got tons of skull trophies and all this unique awesomeness from all his hunting and, you know, all the creatures and alien species he's conquered and hunted throughout his many years of being a predator, which is what makes him the elder and the ultimate fucking predator. This thing is badass. Just love this. Can't wait to display him next to my jungle predator. And, I mean, I, I just can't say more about this thing. This just exudes amazingness, exudes badass. So, oh, and he also brings additional arm, uh, hands. He's got this open kind of grasping hand. And he's got this kind of stoic kind of just plain pose hand. So he's got the semi-closed hands here that can hold the sword or the buccaneer gun. Um, and I don't know, I just can't say much more. This thing is so amazing, as you can see. Quarter scale goodness at its best from NECA. So let's go ahead and take an up-close look at all the amazing sculpted details and the paint apps on this bad boy. Right, so let's start off with the head sculpt. The head sculpt here is amazing. As you can see, there's uh, several different tones of gray that make up the shading on the head. You've got lighter tones of gray, almost a whitewash here, with all this, these gray and uh, kind of copper flecks around the top of the cranium there. And then you've got all these white quills sticking out from both opposite sides of the cranium. He's got quills coming out over his brow area on his cheeks. He's got this awesome golden ring that hangs from one of his mandibles, which is badass. Um, the inside of the mouth, you've got the, the tones in there of like the gums, the pink of the gums. He's got kind of like a worn out tooth here in the mandible, which is a really nice, you know, added touch is really going above and beyond as far as the sculpted details. The eyes look amazing. Um, I know I got a lot of um, feedback. I heard a lot of people talking on the forums and online that they really didn't like the tonality or like the colors, that they look kind of plain and stale. But I got to tell you, you got to have this thing in hand up front to appreciate how awesome it is. You know, he doesn't have the same colors as the Jungle Predator, which did have a different type of look overall. The skin, it, it looked very realistic. It looked like uh, almost like a translucent type of coating and uh, very, very film accurate. But the colors on the Elder are different. He, he has different tones of gray. So overall, he, he just looks aged. He looks older. And uh, I think this thing is amazing. I think uh, people, once they see this up close, they're going to see how badass it is and they're going to want to get it. And, um, you know, let's look here at the shoulder cannon real quick. The, um, the shoulder cannon, just like with the other Predators, you know, it's on a hinge here. You've got a ball socket, which allows you to turn the cannon any way you'd like. You can stow it down here. And it attaches very easily with a little bit of pressure to that um, hinge right there. So really cool detail there. The dreads, again, got all these ornate uh, rings and jewelry all around that uh, that cover the, the, uh, the dreads. Amazing details there. You've got actual like pieces of bone that connect into, you know, other parts of the dreads. See, here's like a, there's an actual, actually these are teeth. Here's a tooth right here. So these are kind of like teeth that, that make the dreads connect. Incredible. He's got this really nice like uh, 
jewelry piece here that holds a bunch of his dreads together. It has like three main dreads going down the middle. And really awesome, the details, you could see the sculpted details on all these rings that are on the dreads. Just freaking amazing. And like I mentioned before, the you know the details and and the the research that goes into producing these pieces, I mean these people don't play. Uh, Randy Falk and his art team at NECA they they really get down and dirty. Look at all the pictures, post production, production, watch the film over and over just to make sure they get all those little tiny details that make these products as movie accurate as possible. And now let's take a look at the rest of the body here. The Elder Predator has a lot of elements as far as, uh, you know, jewelry and, uh, and gear that makes him stand out as an elder. And it shows off, you know, the years that he's been a hunter and all these trophies that he carries because of all the things that he's accomplished. So he's got this really awesome, uh, like, long-hanging necklace with all sorts of trophy skulls. This is almost like a little kind of bird or alligator skull. And you've got all these different kinds of creatures. Then you've got this really one cool necklace with this particular skull hanging in the middle. You've got this strap, which has like predator um, inscriptions here on it. Here you've got the side of the uh, shoulder arm, shoulder mounted cannon armor. And the actual upper torso features real netting. So you can see I'm moving it here. This is real netting. This is not sculpted in, just like the legs, which is another amazing thing um, that NECA is able to pull off with these quarter scale figures. Now let's go down to the belt area here and you can see this amazing Buccaneer gun. It's very detailed. Of course, it's an old trinket, so it's very old. It's very rusted, It's, but it's just incredibly detailed, very cool, very screen accurate, and it even has an inscription here. Here you can see the inscription that this uh, this gun is dated, I believe 17 something, but either way, this is a really cool added detail that the folks at NECA did because they went ahead and added even the inscriptions. It was a very iconic scene at the end of Predator 2 when this gun is given to Danny Glover's character by the Elder. So a really badass accessory overall. And, uh, and that about wraps it up for part one of this review of the quarter scale Elder Predator. Stay tuned for part two coming soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the toy house.